In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to calculate the confidence interval for a single population proportion. And it, we're going to continue on from the previous example that I used in the, in the lecture that we did. So in that example, we were trying to estimate the population proportion for all Grand Rapids re residents who believe that climate change has an effect on the environment. So in order to do that, we're going to go into our stats menu on the calculator, which you can see right here. And it gives us three options. We can edit a list, we can calculate, or we can test. We're going to go over to test. That's where all the inferential tests and some other stuff is as well. And specifically, we're doing a one proportion Z test. So if you scroll down and you look through the, the menu, you can see that we have, um, I'm sorry, I think I said one proportion Z test. It should be one proportion Z interval. Um, you can see we have intervals and we have tests. Intervals are confidence intervals and tests are hypothesis tests. And the Z interval isn't the one that we want because that's a confidence interval for a mean. If you go down to option A, you're going to see a one prop Z interval. That stands for one proportion Z interval or the confidence interval for one proportion. So we want to select option A. And when we select that, that's going to bring up our our menu so that way we can type in the information that we want. And if you recall, we had 319 individuals that responded, uh, Grand Rapids adults that responded that um, they believed that climate change had an impact on the env environment or affected the environment. And we surveyed 500 individuals, so that's the next entry that we have to put in is our sample size of 500. And then the next thing below this, we have to type in our confidence interval percentage, but we have to do this as a decimal. So that confidence interval percentage is 0.9 as a decimal because we wanted to do a 90% confidence interval to estimate the population proportion. And then we'll go down and we'll highlight calculate and hit enter, and this will spit out the results. It doesn't do any of the interpretation or anything like that, but it's a great way to check your answer and make sure that you're doing this correctly. So you can see our lower bound of the confidence interval is 0 .0, or 0 0.60265 and the upper bound of the confidence interval is 0 0.67335, which is approximately what we had in the calculations that I showed in the lecture. And then below that, it gives the, the sample proportion p hat, our estimate, which is 0 0.638, and then below that is our sample size. So hopefully this will help you navigate doing the confidence interval on your calculator.